this is Martin from Secrets, the channel for learning about trading and investing. Welcome to Stock Market Analysis Show, which we used to do on a daily basis. Now, I know I've taken a break from that, and tomorrow is an expiry day. And this right time, do some analysis on the market. And we will look at what happened in the market during the day, and then try to learn something from it and plan for a better trade for the next. And this is analysis for tomorrow, an expiry day, weekly expiry, February 9th, 2023, and. Today we had you know, uh, a minor event and uh, RBI policy, monetary policy announcement was there in the morning and the market was um, jittery, uh, especially the banks, there were some indices units and uh, but otherwise the market has picked up on, let's see how exactly, what are we talking about and uh, straight into the, straight into the um, charts of uh, the daily is what um, what you see here is um, let's go to the weekly first just quickly we're not going to discuss the weekly weekly would have a separate analysis video that would be done on weekends but this is where we are we had uh, breached the support zones and then following back nifty we had breached the nifty also the support zones from where we broke out and um, we're trying to get it almost got back into that uh, and the daily basis this is what we are right and today we have a green close it's a bullish candle and it's almost like a pop is going to a low bullish bullishness is what i've seen there and um the thing is bang if you look at this it's in this series right it's it closed flat it's banks for some reason should have reacted better uh, um to the rba policies uh, expected down uh, rate hikes um, but it was um, this fall is still not come out of the shadow of the um and then stock um, impact uh, fall down that it happened across the bank to bank index quality and then stocks are now seems to be recovering back the banks are still indecisive right so indecisive is just a day before the expiry yesterday also tuesday we had a decision so two days continuous decision this could be, you know, we really didn't watch or consolidating and then uh, then based on that markets may uh, take addition. But tomorrow is an expiry day, so market may be within the range and not, there may not be breakout. That may happen. Or probably banks could break out what are spending today because this Nifty has already done that. So this is a descending wedge and uh, we, have, we have made a lower low. On price action and then now we are heading up to break that almost heading towards breaking that lower high that was made earlier and then we go up or we reach resistance of the lower high and which is a confluence of the uh, trend line descending wedge point top and then fall down to make another lower low so all these possibilities but right now we're heading north and nifty also has got done a decent bounce of several days Last four, five, six days, there's been decent bounce up, and uh, let's try to maintain that. That's what it did. But yeah, uh, that's what we have. Let's get more details. What what we lost, we gained. It was gain day. It was green day. Both slices, but banks had a gain of only forty-seven points. But Nifty had a gain of one hundred and fifty points. So, but the thing to be noted, it's it's a wide bullish range candle that is in the in the Nifty, but uh, it's a dodgy indecisive candle that we have the bank fee. But both of them have closed above the eight days of uh, you know uh, uh, closing closing basis. It is higher than higher close than uh, last eight days, right? Higher close than last eight days is bullish. Even the bank Nifty, instead of being uh, um, kind of indecisive and flanked close it managed to close above the last eight days of uh, uh, no close right so that's what intraday the price action what happened was um, it was a gap up in the nifty and then it was trending high no just trending high just this beautiful trending high in the, bank, in the nifty bank nifty it moved of um, less than one percent and uh, then it reversed the V shape move and then it was kind of range bound in uh, you know, 1200 points range all day. So that's 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 mixed price action that you see in intraday basis. Right? 
Now the thing to me that we already covered is that if we had breached the weekly trend line resistance earlier and then Nifty has almost climbed back into it. But why Nifty is facing resistance where it had breached and fallen down. That's the breakout zone where which from the market had made previous all time highs. Now lower low new lower low has formed. I already said that. Now that will be to break the new lower high or face resistance and then form another new lower low. I love that map. So we are descending it, we see that. There is a beautiful Fibonacci support which is in confluence with the previous thing low. So this is a Fibonacci 61 is very crucial. Anything below 51 would mean that it's bearishness or bullishness so either side. So this is the Fibonacci of retracement. And it has taken a support on both the indices at the Fibonacci 61. So that could be a good support outside. Right. So what happened? What has happened um, last few days? It has been moving up continuously. We know that. And it's heading to. So we already seen that it's levels to watch is um, it's specific to tomorrow. 7900, 959. 900 is a rounding number. 959 is previously high. That could be resistance first, and then 18,000 rounding up is a huge resistance. 18,070 also resistance Fibonacci 30. So 18,000 nearby zone is going to be heavy resistance. Downside supports 17,800 could be good support. 17,825 could be good support. That's a Fibonacci 15 retracement level. 17,800 is a rounding number. So this is the support first level. After that, 17,700 if that is breached, and 17,761 would be the support up above that. Right. So that's a previous single also. That's that's where the support is. So the DFT is going to bank of T. We can see that uh, forty one five eighty seven would be the Fibonacci thirty eight thirty eight resistance in the upside, and then forty one eight thirty six forty two thousand rounding number, and producing high sort of resistance in the bank of T. Right. So between forty um, uh, so forty one and forty one five hundred and forty two will be good resistance in the bank. 41,000, 41,100 would be the no rolling number as per the previous single. That's the supports no outside the bank. T 40,786, 800 zones would be the Fibonacci 50 that will be also be acting as supports. This is acting as supports, supports acting as resistances. That's that's what the market rules and then goes to the upside is what happens, right? So in all of these levels, uh, check these levels, correlate them with what the you know. The open interest that I'm saying, and then that's a way to take the positions. Volatility is next analysis that we normally do, right? So, uh, this can be uh, the volatility can be studied with the help of the MX also, and also we can study it from the volatility bands that's nothing but the Bollinger bands, right? So, Bollinger bands are now contracting if you see. It was falling down, dropping down, and then clear bearishness downfall happened now. It has turned sideways. And we had a clear breakdown with sideways contraction, which indicates sideways moment. Of course, no consolidation is what it is. Bank of two of the same is the case. And momentum has picked up, it's moving and rising up on the short term. Bank of also the momentum is rising up, you can see. Uh, so momentum is sideways and rising up. Trend indicator is the ADs is what we use. Trend is a bullish zone, but weak strength trend indicator. Both in the assets, so it is but weak strength, strong, you know, but in the bull zones. So, so the recovery from the bearish zones of trend in momentum has happened. Right? Now that momentum is sideways and the MI positing on the track. So it's also as cold of today. 3.59 is where it is. So 3.7 percent of only the four percent cold of has happened today. So things so the event is over. Mm, the Rani Saga also Maybe getting resolved. It is digesting that. This is what we we can understand from today's uh, last few days of price action. Except that the banks are in this even really did dodge yesterday before the expire. So that's only worry. Futures why is showing um, a long period of the reserve for the dashes to do busily. Options why is showing a bit in time range of 7800 to 200 points style range for the Nifty, but wide range 40,000 to 43,000 for the Bank T. That's for the Feb 9, Feb 9, 2023 weekly expiry tomorrow. PCR is bullish 1.2 and 0.9 to Bank Nifty. So, all options and futures why and put call ratios are indicating that it's it's stable and it's uh, it's not going to it's not very bearish. Also, that all no, 
the highest put and call writing is 7800 and 18000 40000 and 43000 but a wider range the expectation option rate is expected big volatile moves to happen only bang the you know just one day before the expiry which is a worry and when you read it along with this you dodge in the bank but nifty seems to you know option rate is, does not see much of uh, up more also as 18000 is a very strong resistance out there right so all bullishness is what the view of interest that I try now how, how the sector is doing the ID sector today if you see today's in uh, data ID metal pharma all of them did well more than uh, one and a half percent nearly one and a half percent of what was happening metal did extremely well so we better fall back we didn't down now that I made a four percent of VM no up more than a seven order of MCG reality this sector is close actually flat those are the sectors that is doing good when the market was falling out of it today a close fact so overall the momentum wise if you see the ID auto and the FMCG they are in the bull zones actually three sectors ID also joined the auto and the FMCG which is already doing good so the metal still not recovered from the bearish momentum so it's been down below RSI 60 RSI 40 I mean so it's mere shown so all of those um, are still uh, on the sideways mainly in the sideways momentum so there are you know, stocks getting added up one by one in the bullish zone. So, you know, uh, only one metal you know, which is also recovered for this up now. So, things should, seems to be okay recovering aside from you know, moving towards the bullish is what you can understand from sectoral performance. Right? At least we know which are the you know, leading sectors and what, are, what is lacking. Now, how the industry heavyweights will perform today? Plans is a trouble, is in trouble. It's, um, it's done well 2% of up more after having beaten out, but it's a major support zone which is. It's a, it's a breakout neckline of a breakout zone it's a major support zone it's in a rectangle or box pattern so it may be taking support and the fact that it is more up two percent indicate that it has taken the support i just not seeing finna cc is both of them are good one point one eight and one point three seven good up more as happened that is stocks and i see the bank also seems to have uh, it is recovered substantially and then for the no less than one percent of more is happened in close green so just hdfc close flat and it was only the kodak bank that you know well half a percent down so trouble is only in the reliance as of now trouble in the sense the moment is set to catch up to the bullet to the side of zones from the bearishness and infant is held in the bullish zones from the heavyweights from the seven heavyweights that we are studying on and all the other um, of the five so the, of the four uh, then the reliance in and DCS are in the sideways momentum. So that's also all, all if you see other than reliance, uh, which is done well today, others are all uh, slowly getting added up into the blue zones from the sideways. And uh, banks did not perform probably because the HTFC was closing flat to December. So, you know, so there is no uh, big moves in the finance side, you can see that, right. So, institutional board special as usual, the fires were selling today. 7,736 crores of selling. Fridays are going to selling now. And they are making up for buying uh, right 41 crores in cash. And they have been doing the same since 11 months. Good oil is not rising too much. 78 below 80, which is good. Moment is sideways. And currency, if you're seeing the dollar index thing, it's shooting up and it has climbed from uh, bear zones into the sideways moment again. But it's a rising. And the flattish days as of now are not 3.52, not too far away from the multi decade highs that uh, that had uh, made months back. The rupee is uh, weakening today, it is a falling flag that we've seen, but um, rupee was no depreciate, no depreciating, you know, it's at 82.52. It's still in the bullish zone, although it has taken a dip today. The moment from the USD and currency pair, you can see it's still in the bullish zone, which is not great, but crude is cold off. Main earnings levels below the 80 is fine, right? What is that if I is still selling, right? So, gold is uh, was on the top of a descending, um, top of a cup and handle uh, pattern, breakout zone of the handle top channel, and it is very similar since there. And, and you know, it, it, it's trying to break out from there, and you know, after having killed the resistance of the channel top. So it's 17 percent or 19 percent of all that has happened from the bottom. Gold breaks on with the market falls and bulls face resistance and fall back. Market uh, rises up, picks up. That's what is happening. Singapore exchange seems to be flat as now. US and dice are flat trend, but US and dice are at the top of a listening wedge and trying to break out. I'll just show you a glimpse of that. Um, 
to the Hudon's weekly view of the bear picture of where we are and this is the top of the descending wedge that we are using to see if it has been staying in the zone for you know how many weeks now right on no, 10 weeks it's staying in the same zone so you know there is lack of interest as to whether it's going to break out from here but no or all it's not ready to go down it's green candles it's dominating so probably it may be attempt waiting for some news to come out and then break out from here so we have to keep a close watch of this use and dices because if there is a breakout that's happening um, you know the use and dices then you know, it could uh, result in big moves on our side as well not necessarily always but yeah unless there are some big popular cues that uh, dominates that so keep a close watch on the use and dices so major differences are used of set of some fed uh, chair and fed speeches are coming next week so Market wall can TFI selling and all that could intensify by you know selling or buying whatever depending on the outcome of those events. So we'll keep a close watch Feb 9th, Thursday, Friday also 10th. Keep a close watch of this week. So stock picks MMFC and Polycap both along. The MMFC is Mahindra's Finanza. It is having a breakout confirmed. And surrounding pattern breakout with a green close, and then it's good entry point. Tight stop was below the neckline, and reasons are because momentum and trend is also rising up. Price factor indicating a breakout. Poly cap also is a breakout. Poly cap in is an electrical appliance company competing with the Havales, I believe. We don't break out one from the rectangle pattern. Tight stop was below the previous week's candle low, and then arrive the trend because moment is. Above RSI 16, trend is also rising up in the ADX indicator. So, two long calls for the coming trend, you know, swing trade opportunities primarily. Now, expiry trade, sooner than expiry. So, expiry uh, can be traded in, you know, in two ways either it can be option seller or it can be option buyer. If you're an option buyer, sideways market will not help you. Sideways market, just don't do anything and you can have any kind of uh, breakout indicator, either a previous day high, low, whatever. Or an indicator like a super trend or a number of moving average or whatever indicators that you're using. Decide on a point where the breakout is confirmed for you and then take the trade from there, put tight stop loss on 15 minute candles and uh, write the trend. Trail it in the portion size as per your capital size and then do the pyramiding. You know, that's option buying strategy on you know, zero to zero trade, you know, 32 on expiry. Okay, it's very risky because. Um, if you take this tomorrow's uh, uh, weekly strikes, it could have the decay problem if you're going to option buying. So sometimes people go for the next upcoming week strike so that uh, the breakouts don't have any uh, decay problem, right? But you can take the trade only if the breakout confirmed by some indicator or some swing high, you no know, support resistance levels. That's up to you, that's strategy that you have to take. But only if you break out of control should you take the trade, not blindly. But in the option sell, you can trade um, regardless of um, breakout or not. Right. You should have a range of you know, OTM strikes on up and down, 200 points away, and hedge it also properly. And basically, it's an iron condo that you can form you know, with far OTMs and far further far OTM strikes, and then uh, sell it. You know. Uh, so they put in the call it basically strangles right? and then if you no, know, uh, if the price action indicates that uh, there is trending up or that is happening then cut short uh, cut short your calls or puts which are side it is moving and then you know, take for for further uh, OTM you, you can basically adjust it different ways so one way is to uh, trending side call uh, or put which are trending side cut short and then take further OTM or, or roll down and roll back on the opposite side of the direction move. So these are different ways of uh, dealing with it. But uh, yeah, so that is a strategy that I do normally. You know, not in the option buying, not option selling. Option buying also can work out, but not on all expiries. Only if there is break out, you will get it. And also, also. One is uh, the gamma advantage benefit from that if there is a breakout by option buy. Second is the t you know, advantage that you have uh, on an expiry day, the option selling. 
so the so those strategies that you can apply for the expiry tomorrow so just to wrap up what we have said so market is actually close green today reasonably bullish candle and then it is close uh, no, 8 day high no? it is close above the previous 8 days closing price no uh, about that and this close that's pretty positive but banks showing some trouble even uh, open interest also there is slight lack of bullishness is there some indices that's probably the indices of this five breakout happen or breakdown you never know right right so there is a lower low that has made recently and they record and bounce it from that now the attempt would be to break out for the lower high so that would happen right so resistance may be at about the 18,000 levels nearby zones there may be resistance so you know uh, if that resistance is record then you 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 take out the lower high and then that pattern negates and then you can you may be going further up from there so you never know all this but so that's what it is not so tomorrow it may be sideways plus mild bullishness could be there until the resistance that we're talking about the lower high you know, that may be a move towards that so mild bullishness not real bullishness or it could be consolidation you know, move up and down in that range of 7800 to 18,000 that's all that's what I expect so that's my view we just called up the operators is um, looking good oil is not spiking because markets are green at a point where the record could happen potentially so everything is good except the rupee and the FI is selling otherwise everything looks good so 11 to watch in the medium to 7300 to 200 39 400 43000 that's a level previous swing highs and lows on a medium term but for tomorrow the level should be selling 700 to 18000 and 41000 to 42000 on the magnitude so, so expand only volatility will be there stay out of uh, you know negative calls and uh, uh, no, no free trades and all coming so always hedge your versions so that you know what you lose max and you're still in the game the next day so anything would happen in the market so always you know, even if you're online portions or internet portions experiment highly volatile days you have, to, you have to make sure that you have tight swap losses and you also hedge your portions so that free trades don't take away all your, all your money right so play safe and um, uh, have hedge portions if you're carrying for portion trades and uh, if you're already investing, any dip could be bought in the SIP mode. You can use option strategies. Check out the playlist on different strategies on the options. So also, we are talking about some volatility divergence earlier. I missed out on that. So, there's a, there is a video on that also volatility divergence in the technical analysis playlist. You can check out that. So, basically, um, the, I missed to say talk about that. So, if you put the volume bands here, you can see that the price is taking a W pattern here. So this W pattern was supposed to have broken out, which failed, didn't work out. Not everything in the technical analysis works out always, right? Now this again taking a volatility divergence, so the price is moving outside of the body bands, going inside the body bands and making another W pattern, and then this possibility is there. That could mean that it could move further up some more towards the same resistance also that didn't take a W dip and then a breakout. All this is going to take time, but on a medium term, making a lot of this. Kind of analysis also so that's a wrap up that's my view no mild bullish sideways cautious bullish i would say it's cautious mild bullish sideways view for an expiry tomorrow levels we already talked about and that's it happy trading happy learning happy investing if you're not subscribed please subscribe and share to friends and colleagues right we have very few subscriptions appreciate your help this a lot thanks for watching happy trading happy learning bye bye